Hi, and thank you for joining us again for August is for Antelopes here at the Montgomery Zoo. Today, I am here again in front of our Africa hoofstock display, and I'm here to talk a little bit about one of our smaller antelope species, the Bonibok. Now, if you've seen them out here, you've noticed them right away because they have a beautiful chocolate brown coat with a white stripe under their belly and a huge white spot on their face. And that beautiful coat sets them aside for most of our other antelope species out here. We do have two Bonibok, Tulsa and Anissa, and they're both very friendly with their keepers and always energetic when they come out onto display in the morning. So if you're lucky enough to be here, when they're headed out onto display, you'll see them bouncing around. Now, while you might see them bouncing around, these guys are actually not very good jumpers. What they're really good at is crawling under things and around things, but they're not good jumpers, which is something that we think of when we think of antelope species. So they're a little bit unique in that aspect. Now, what uh, that actually has helped their cause because these antelope are um, unique in their success story. So these guys were um, hunted nearly to the point of extinction. There are only uh, estimated to be under 20 individuals left in the wild. So a farmer in South Africa decided to gather up those 20 individuals and put them in basically a sheep pen. And because these guys can't jump very well, they were not able to get out of that. And because of that, their numbers grew and it actually helped to establish their population. And today they are no longer considered critically endangered. So they're a great success story. So next time you visit, check out our Bonnebuck and remember why zoos do what they do.